What's up, Thrashers, and welcome back once again to the Thrash Maniac 99 YouTube channel, and I'm back with yet another album review, and today I am talking about the debut offering from Cleveland death metal band Mutilation Barbecue with Amalgamations of Gore. Also comes out on March 29th, this time on Maggot Stomp, and like I said, this is their debut full length. They've had an EP and a single before, and this band formed in 2020, and uh, I've heard a lot about this band kind of begin to get a bit of a groundswell of underground popularity within the Ohio death metal scene. I know they played Full Terror Assault this past September, and I know my boys and thralls are big fans of this band, so it's like, you know what, I might as well give this band a shot. And right off the rip with the title track slash skin display, immediately you're getting what this album is all about. And that's pummeling grooves that groove hard, some catchy riffs, catchy uh, bass lines, some nice drum work, and it kind of goes all over the place when it comes to riffs and tempos. Like It, it can be very groovy, which it, it is really groovy. It can go into some double time stomps. It gets thrashy at times. Dare I say, even gets a bit punky with some D-beats here and there. But here on the opening track, you even get like little tinges of melody. But I would say, immediately starting with this title track, Skin Display, immediate comparisons to 200 stab wounds uh pharaoh uh pharaoh <laughs> fellow cleveland death metal band and please i'd love to hear a full length uh second album from 200 stab wounds because slave to the scalpel was badass but uh yeah pretty much got this album started right off the rip with some killer ideas then, for the most part, for the rest of the album, you pretty much are getting kind of the same ingredients, but you get some nice little seasonings here and there. Like I would say in Hive Mind Homicide, here is really where you get more of that, like, thrashiness to it, as well as slam breakdowns and blast beats and tremolo riffs that even feel like cannibal corpse to some degree and then of course where you get where the majority of the leads on this album are all them squealy dive bombs that we like from slayer and early morbid angel and the like and as far as like any other differences so abortion ambulance the following track this one you start to get more of them pinch squeals on the guitars notable bass lines and dare i say before i continue I actually liked the production as far as the mix goes. Like, everything was pretty well balanced. The bass is really prevalent. The one big glaring problem, though, I had with the production was the snare. Way too ringy. Like, I don't know if they went for that intentionally, or it was just something that happened in the mixing or the mastering or what have you. But I would have loved if the snare had a little bit more punch instead of more ring to it. <clears throat> but anyways, with Abortion Ambulance, this is where it gets a little bit more into the punky D-beat side here a little bit. And even the breakdown and the double time stop that ends the song feels close to like Dying Fetus, I would say. Auto Anthropophagy, this one, definitely more on the Cannibal Corpse side with the tremolo riffs that pop up. But one of the catchiest grooves <clears throat> across the entire album pops up here as well as little hints of dissonance within the guitars and it would be starting with this track where you start to get some nuances within the guitars like there's some cool quick sweeps going on with the guitars xenomorphic organ rearrangement this one kind of introduces again another slightly more melodic riff which was pretty cool and the nice galloping bass line but then we get to probably my favorite song of the album, Carcass Compost, and starts off with this like catchy bass groove. And even the riff feels like Carcass, but with more groove as opposed to more double time or thrashiness. Like this feels like if Carcass were more groove oriented death metal because it's got these little tinges of melody within the riff which is really really cool and a dynamic lead that actually showcases the guitarist's playing chops trampled under 18 wheels which that's an interesting title more dissonant more thrashy aggression comes back even more wild leads lady next door this one 
kind of has little bits of nods to I would say aborted would be a good example and then the closing track spontaneous human combustion so we're getting South Park on you motherfuckers this one has some more of the nastier riffs that you get on the album even little whammy bar action which I didn't really hear at all on any other track and again more varied leads so definitely in the back half the leads get a little more creative as opposed to just, let's just go diving on the high end and just go Row! the whole time like a squealing cat at times. So yeah, overall, like it is catchy to the bone with the grooves and the riffs. Across the board, it's catchy. <clears throat> However, I will say perhaps that could be a bit of a detriment to this album. It tends to kind of follow the same formula and that's like let's thrash it up a little bit or punk it up a little bit and then we'll get into more of the groove stuff and then maybe throw in a little double time action and slams every once in a while so it does feel a bit formulaic but it is a tight formula that's working for them in their favor so overall for a debut i thought this was pretty damn solid i'm gonna give this a three and a half mainly because some of these riffs and bass lines were pretty infectious, probably more infectious than HIV, I would say. So I would say if you're a fan of 200 Stab Wounds, Sanguis Sugabog, uh, I would say perhaps other modern bands like Tribal Gaze and maybe even Creeping Death, check this out. This is some pretty solid stuff. And again, further proof why the Ohio death metal scene is starting to get on the rise and more people should pay attention. But of course, those are just my thoughts. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Keep your horns high and your dreams wet.